Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 7 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone, this is Miss Tom. Let's keep on reading The Riddle Stone Part 1 Previously, Hong told Biff and Chip the four letters that spelled Hungry Horse were MTGG. He gave another riddle. Before Biff and Chip could answer, the magic key glowed and took them to a rocky valley. Four paths met. A signpost pointed four ways. Each way pointed to Riddle Mountain. They met a boy called Ty by the signpost. He wanted to go to Riddle Mountain, but he didn't know which path to take. Hong knew the answer to the riddle on the post. It was a shadow. He looked at the shadow of the post. It pointed up one path. He knew that must be the way. It was hard and dangerous to get to Riddle Mountain. But Ty had to go in order to be the Riddle Maker. He had to answer all the riddles on the way. He said the last one was the hardest. A giant stood in the way. He gave children a riddle. If they could answer it, they could pass by. What did the riddle say? Write down how much I weigh, he said. But he must weigh tons, said Biff. No, it's a riddle, said Hong. I can do it. He wrote down the answer. One ton 就是一吨, or one thousand kilogram. A big elephant can weigh five to seven tons. This giant was like an elephant. But was he five tons, six tons, or 7.89 tons? How could the children tell exactly how much the giant must weigh? Oh, that was impossible to tell. What did Hong write down? Was he right? Good luck in the land of riddles, said the giant. <coughs> what did you write down? asked Chip. <laughs> I wrote the words, how much I weigh, said Hong. <coughs> wow! Hong solved the riddle again. <coughs> he didn't answer the question, how much I weigh. He simply wrote down the words, how much I weigh. <coughs> the giant waved the children goodbye. A monkey, a snake and a vulture all looked at the children. I think they were probably thinking, Oh no, our lunch is gone. Empty belly.
It was not far to the top of the hill. Suddenly, a dragon stood in the way. I hope he's friendly," said Home. "Oh, look," said Biff. "There are bubbles coming out of his mouth." The dragon looked fierce and funny. Usually, a dragon blows fire or water. I've never seen a dragon blowing bubbles. Have you? I wanted to invite him to my birthday party to blow bubbles. But was he friendly? What came out of the dragon's mouth? Bubbles came out of the dragon's mouth. The dragon spoke. Over there is Riddle Mountain, it said. You have a long way to go. Help, said Ty. The journey looks dangerous. The children still had a long way to go, but where could they go? They are on the edge of a cliff. <coughs> If they kept going, they would fall off the cliff. What was below the cliff? Where was Riddle Mountain, anyway? Below was a black lake. Across the lake, the land was dry and rocky. Beyond, there was a deep river and dark forest. Far away was a tall gray mountain. The children had to go across the black lake, across the rocky land. Across the deep river, through the dark forest, and up the tall gray Riddle Mountain, they also had to answer all the riddles on the way. No wonder Ty said, "Help!" <coughs> Maybe the dragon could help them. Could they ride the dragon? All the way to the mountain top. Huge bubbles came out of the dragon's jaws. Answer this riddle, it said. How many sides does a bubble have? Oh, that's easy, said Hong. It has two. A bubble is round. It has no sides. What did Hong mean when he said the bubble has two sides? Was he right? If the children couldn't answer this riddle, would the dragon turn them into bubble blowing dogs, like this one in the corner? Oh, I hope Hong was right. The inside and the outside, he said. Good, said the dragon. Now step inside this bubble. Hong stepped into the bubble. It began to float away. What a clever answer! <laughs> a bubble does have the inside and the outside. So far, Hong answered all the riddles. He thought all of them were easy. Hong was very good at riddles. 
What a big magic bubble! It didn't pop when Hong stepped inside. Where would the bubble float? Where was Hong now? He was inside a bubble. Step into a bubble! Yelled Hong. They all stepped inside the bubbles and floated up and up. Oh, this is scary! Said Biff. What if the bubbles pop? The bubbles floated above the dark lake. The children traveled down the cliff. And across the dark lake in bubbles, it looked like a very fun way to travel. But Biff was worried. She saw the monsters in the lake. I don't think she wanted to find out what they were. Did the bubbles pop? What happened next? Let's find out in the next episode. See you next time. This program is produced by Himalaya. 